Happy hunting, Valhallans. All fathers stand here back for Sekiro Boss's hand. Now, this guy isn't necessarily a boss. You are going to have to get the Mortal Blade first. This is a spoiler alert. Once you do have the Mortal Blade, he will allow you to kill him. Um, not necessarily a boss. Kind of a sub-boss because he does give you an item like a sub-boss would in From Software Games. So we're just putting him in here just because. And because I did honestly enjoy this character, I wish they would have fleshed out a little bit more story for him. Um, some side quests besides this one. You know. Yeah, so this is going to be the last time you're going to get to be able to do all these. And he just wants a merciful death. A proud, proud bastard. Odin will grant you. I just intend to uh, use the attack power thing right there, but I want to cut that out. There really is no strategy for this, so we're just really talking about it. Fucking Arnold in here. Oh, he's kind of fucking. Red bro. For moments of the end. Brought some sake for you, man. Anyway, the hidden teeth. Hidden tooth. It replaces the powder or the sorry, the powder, the the kill medicine as an eternal one and. It is somewhat useful occasionally. There are some videos out there for it. Basically, if you're on a boss's last life, you still have three revives. If you just want to end your own life right when he's about to kill you and you know he's going to kill you, you can basically revive. You, you can, you'll be able to use revive after. You know what I mean? So you can revive, and then when you don't have revive, or, you know, you can keep reviving like that. So it can be useful. Um, however, what we're going to do here is we're going to aggro this motherfucker. He will walk back. You will get it down. Um, you can get the spell kill every time like that. He's not really too cautious. And that is one of the cheeses to this guy. However, the cheese is also a crutch. The cheese is also a crutch because when you start getting used to it and it fucks up and you don't have the timing down because you never use this ability for the whole game, um, he's just going to catch you and murder you dude, over and over again. So that's really what he does. You really should work on timing. If you're not good at perfect parries by this point in the game, God bless you. God, God bless you. But you should probably work on, you should not use the Raven Feather on him and just continue working on it for him so you get it down better. Um, even if you do resort to the Raven Feather eventually just because he's pissing you off and you don't want to do it, it does give you a prayer bead. You should kill him and I did want to watch him also fall to the ground on that end. <laughs> anyway, uh, another really, just one of the few bosses in this game that should be easy, and most people are easy, but just for me, I just didn't particularly like. I mean, I think I only, I only did two tries to kill him this time, but I did not like him in the, the other version of him in the back, the spear, spear monger. Um, anyway, to make it a little simple, you turn invisible, you can eavesdrop on them, and they have some interesting shit to say. Murder him. I thought the Blood Mist was going to be a good call, but it wasn't. Um, Pup tier would probably been slightly better. You know, technically, we're, we're, we're probably just going to back off here and get the stealth kill on him after. Because he has his back to him. If you just go all the way over here, it'll just like auto de aggro him. We'll just head right back. He'll have a little suspense moment, so don't. You know, 
Balls out Berserker just yet, guys. In the second, and then the flyback. We're still invisible. He just barely turned around. Nope. Oh, motherfucker. <coughs> we get that easy kill right there. The stealth. The Tenchu. I'm going to pop a sugar here. I really don't like this guy. We get even a tiny little bit of help we can get from that. Oh, and that was a wonderful jump, All Father. He's gonna do a lot of stab parries, so you should probably wait for the animation to start to fade away before you uh, dodge, unlike me. I dodge a little early sometimes, and I just spam it. And you can really kill him easily if you just keep your perfect parries down because he look how much he's fast. You know? So you're good. If I would have let that stab come through and parry that, I think we probably could have been a couple parries away from taking him down permanently. And if I wouldn't have biffed that, that would have been definitely the end. He would have died right there. Very plain and simple. Once again, don't be fooled by the precious treasure in front of you. It is actually slightly precious if you weren't like me and said, fuck it, I'm just gonna farm this. As soon as I get to the place where the dudes have the uh, gun, they shouldn't have cast the second uh, dance. Basically, at this point in time, you can. There's good videos on it anyway. Cool. Kill any dudes with guns and cannons and shit. For the Fulminant Mercury. Excuse me, but. Back to the assassin. Um, get back into your. Ooh, and there's the low swipe. See, he. he He's, he does the, the the charge every time, except for that with low swipe, but he takes so long with the low swipe. If you backed up already and you still need to jump, you can probably jump in time, even though you won't jump on his head. But, the... Just wait for the perfect parry. And he's so much easier. <laughs> Watch the symbol when you see the parry. The unblockable symbol. Wait for it to fade. Don't be like me right there and dodge early because you're anxious. I don't like this guy particularly. Didn't like the ninjas for a while, but then you figure out how to beat them, and now I pretty much got this to Shame he was so different. I just didn't like his Makiri counter. Um, Makiri. Yeah, counter, parry, whatever. Timing, it was just strange for me at first, I didn't realize it was the symbol, I was trying to go off of his attack animation, kind of like in Dark Souls, and Bloodborne is the other from Um, but, ranting. Great kill, simple, probably simple for you guys. It does give you a beat, I highly suggest getting it. And you can swipe yourself that culminated Mercury. <clears throat> Which I have too many of now. And money is not an issue either, so I don't know what to do with it, but... they Hopefully they get a little patch in that for some DLC content. Anyway, moving on, we're going down to this uh, outskirts underbridge. Wait a couple minutes for these motherfuckers to start their fight. And then we'll head around back here to fight some of these guys. <laughs> these motherfuckers... <laughs> I didn't. I fought the boss once. I had to fight these guys like twice because they made me use a few health, and I was like, "Well, fuck that." So we're gonna try this out on them. See how this works. I actually do not believe this works on the heavier armored motherfuckers. So, yep, it just turns them around. Either way, though, I mean that's still a few hits, but uh, for the few emblems they cost, I. <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, this, this guy's poison is just working well because I'm just not fucking hitting the... I'm just not timing well. I did really well last time until... I had issues with his friend. It was supposed to be who's easier. Anyway, moving on. So, if you time these guys perfectly, you should be able to take them out pretty well. 
Beast, 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 right? Bing, bing, bing. Alright, so that's in the shoulder butt. The rest is very simple. One, two. One, two. One. One, two, three. Well, he's already making me use a few health. Uh, yeah, a few health already. So I, I'm already at the point where I was last time, and I did even better. But you know what? I'm saying this time. I'm just saying, fuck. It. We're gonna go up. We're gonna kill this guy. I think. Yeah, let's go up and kill this guy. We don't need him fucking around. First story. You get nervous sometimes. She starts. <laughs> You spam the block button, that's the end. Fair enough. Try to get those timings down. Watch their action. It, it is it is a little Dark Souls in. <clears throat> Just from software-ish, where... You mostly want to, unless for various, you know... Some enemy, there are exceptions to this rule, but... We're gonna go around and kill a couple more of these dudes. They need. Them. I think those guys are having fun over there. So. They can play their games by themselves. It can be boys to be boys. Out on the, out on the bridge. Um, there was a guy waiting here. Yep, he's still here. I wish you could stealth kill a little bit farther or cooler from, like, side. That's one thing I do want from secure games is um, you know, a sequel is to further their stealth kill, like the build, like different stealth kills and how you can do them, and where you do them from, and you know what I mean. Um, kind of like you know just how ten shoot evolved. I, I'd also like to see them just incorporate a tiny bit more ten shoot. But <clears throat> oh man, we should build those two guys. Bastards out there. <laughs> yeah, the shurikens are, are a great weapon, especially the ones that pierce. Uh, <clears throat> I just love the flame vent. I see the shurikens were probably a better idea. I just like burning. I just like burning. You can tell that I like pyromancy in Dark Souls. Of course, you didn't like pyromancy in Dark Souls. You didn't play Dark Souls. Like I played Dark Souls. Like <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think I'm gonna play some Dark Souls after I finally find the master of this. I might might be talking a couple of my friends into it. Broke the stigma of it's too hard of a game. Because it is a little hard. But it should be hard. Should be hard. The sense of accomplishment <clears throat> is ridiculous. And, and of course, people say that. <clears throat> but we're going to, I think we're going to make a video. Go ahead and make a video about that anyway. So it's just, Secure is a game for everybody. Everybody should play this. Well, not everybody, but more people than people who think Dark Souls is a game for them. Let's just say that. I, I believe Sekiro is a game, for, more of a game for more people. But moving on, um, I'm still deciding what to do. We're just gonna pop sugar, and then the first time fighting this guy, I thought I could get the stealth kill off jumping, but I just do not like doing that for sub boss. So we're just gonna stab him back. It did successfully work, luckily. And I did see the chest plate, 
and it did not come off the first try, so luckily I was... I am a double... I'm a double spear spammer. Just because of the, the Guardian Ape. <coughs> I wanted to hit that fucking... that centipede after I pull it out, so I, just, I usually double spear spam, so I think that's luckily wise. Okay. But after that, he is pretty... pretty simple. Strong. Strong motherfucker, just like Juzo. He is a copy of Juzo, except for instead of poison, he does spit fire. So he's basically like... Who the fuck's invading us is Juzo. Oh! Yeah, and that's, that's the big one. That's the big one you don't want to get hit. Especially when you've got half health, because he will just burn the shit out of you. I'm assuming. It didn't happen to me, because we've already fought three of these dudes. Two? Three? There'll be another. If we, if you haven't seen Juzo yet... Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But yeah, this is the third... One, third one. If you'd like to hurt anything, please hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me over on Twitch, and I wish you guys a happy hunt.